All right, stuff which is so, uh, as you can see, I had this set up for two tonight, but problems ensued, obstacles arose, they were overcome, um, but it's late now, and Rob's just getting into the shower now, so I figured I'd just pop out here and do this, because I'm sure he's not up for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's life though. really as dramatic as you want to make it. I am smoking a cigarette, but I am being good. I got water full of frozen fruit. That's how I like to drink my water. Instead of putting ice in it, I use frozen fruit. So at least that's something. But, I don't know. I wanted to tell you guys a story about two people that I've met. Um, that I've worked with. And when I say what I, that I've worked with, these are... Usually people I've done some sort of reading or sessions with or done magical work with or things of that nature, right? Because anybody who's in the silver cord knows that, yeah, we do a lot of stuff in there. We talk about a lot of topics and we go through a lot. So I'll start by telling you about my story about my friend M. Now, she was one of the first members in the silver cord. And when she joined at the time, uh, she was making sweet jars to try to get her husband back. Um, that's why I'm not using her name. But yeah, she was using sweet jars to try to get her husband back. And uh, the story went, he had divorced, was divorcing her to be able to be with his twin flame, which was uh, some... 20-something year old Filipino girl in the Philippines and now he was such a narcissist and had her so beat down at this point that in an attempt to save her marriage she actually let him go to the Philippines to see if he was being catfished or not and to see if she was really as and guess what chick was there let him wine and dine her for a week and he comes back the plan to divorce his wife and he's supposed to be sending all this money to this chick so we worked through that and we shifted her focus from focusing on trying to get him back to stop the divorce to keep go ahead with the divorce and focus on you know getting your child support and stuff like that so we did a lot of you know <coughs> wealth manifestation and things of that nature and we did a couple of visualizations on you know with cord cutting and releasing um, I won't lie, I did, um, mislead her with the cord cutting spells that I did. I did what, um, it's, it's a cobweb burning spell, and I led her to believe that it would burn, um, the cobwebs over his eyes casted by the Filipino girl, but, um, when I was doing the visualization, I was guided to take it a slightly different way. You know, the visualization was, um, it was him caught in a spider web and the Filipino girl was the spider in the middle of the web. And her job in the middle, in the visualization was to set the whole web on fire. And her immediate response was that she was, he's in the web. I was like, just set it on fire. And it took her a minute, but she did do it. You know, um, <laughs> my fire just came back up over there. So I'll just show you guys real quick. Damn fire. Fire. Fire, fire. It is over there because it is still kind of warm down here. I just got my little tiki torch over here. I thought it looked cute. But... fast forward that was all went down dude I think that all went down 2017 honestly and now she has been in a loving relationship for at least a, about a year now I'm pretty sure it's been a year you know with the dude that she's totally in love with and he treats her like a freaking queen just unreal 
the transformation and not only that she is um she was uh had gotten overweight she had lost a ton of she's lost a ton of weight and she looks great i don't even think she's doing anything really um besides the fact that she cut the narcissist out of her life and her ex-husband is still going through the same cycles with the filipino girl yeah she's dumping him all the time he's fucking dramatic as shit he's a fucking cutter and all this kind of nonsense Whenever he has the daughter, he does fucked up shit. Like, he takes her picture and then sends it to the mom and goes, you know, doesn't she look just like me? She looks just like me. I bet every time you look at her, you see me. Just fuck shit like that. I'm like, dude, but now that she knows what it is, you know, it doesn't hurt her anymore to see it, you know. And her daughter is beautiful, so... And she's a talented artist. The other story I wanted to tell you was um, this woman I met up at the Zen Den. Now, she had come in with a friend to do a reading. And then I ended up having a cancellation that day, so she got that slot. And I don't even know. I felt like more like she should have had to pay me than me pay her at this point. Because the whole th session ended up just her telling me about the most amazing manifestation tale I've ever heard in my life. So this woman, one, she said she would never have kids. She said she just settled on that. She was like, oh, I just knew I was never going to have kids. And then, you know, like five years ago, I ended up taking in an autistic boy. You know, he was an autistic teenager, and he was having a hard time in foster care and all that, and she took him in. And she, he found out he was getting married. This is a few years later. He's getting married. His girlfriend's pregnant. You know, life is great, and she gets a diagnosis of terminal cancer, and they told her that she had uh, six months to live. Now, this was in January. She said the next paycheck she got, she brought herself um, round-trip tickets to Europe for October for four months after the time that they gave her at the hospital. So, she said then, every two weeks when she got paid, she put something towards the vacation. She wined or dined herself across Europe um, for two weeks, five stars the whole way. She ate dinner by herself, candlelit dinner, at the top of the Eiffel Tower. She said when she got there too, um, in the, the Paris Broadway, had one of her favorite plays playing and she hadn't even planned to do that and it ended up being there for her and just whined and dined herself across Europe for two weeks and then she told me she goes that was a year and a half ago I've been in full remission since I mean that's the most amazing manifestation tale I have ever heard I don't know, the whole thing just blew my mind. I just want to really wanted to share that with you guys. Like, I don't know exactly what it is that I do. I just keep doing it. You pull a damn civil shit. Mmm. I was in the shower, you over here cheating on me. <gasps> you know, it's just girls watching this anyway. You might not want to sit down in that chair right now. Mm. You want me to slide you? Them. You want me to slide you out of shot? You don't get to see them with this shirt off, ladies, just I do. Sorry. But I'm you can enjoy shy. his antics off the side. Mm. And he's clean. Damn. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're right on top of the fire, too. Now, we were just talking about cool men. Oh. Don't do that. Let's Nobody see. wants to see the inside of your fucking teeth. I was trying to, get the, I was trying to get the flame. I love you to death, but all you did was just give them a nice, like, dentist lit up inside shot of your mouth. You're not going to so, be happy. You're not going to be happy with that later. <laughs> oh, my I'm God. Sorry, I come and mess up your whole <laughs> What else is new? <laughs> hey. I thought you weren't going to be up for it tonight. Change it, did you mind? I just got showered. Mm-hmm. Washing my arse. You feel better? A bit. Yeah. 
I was talking about the most awesome manifestation story that I could ever think that I could think of. What's the coolest thing that somebody's manifested that you've seen? Yeah, I've seen a lot of shit. He's seen somebody move a cup across the table. Yeah, too. Mm-hmm. He also was able to, um, the first time, what really had, like, changed my mind about shit was the way he was able to, everybody was around, they was talking about it, and he was able to, um, I was standing my back towards him, and he was able to take his palms and put them, like, towards my shoulder blades, and just keep leaning back and forth, and back and forth, and the rhythm, and without me realizing it, I suddenly I was doing it too. I was I was going back and forth with his hand. Oh, and you couldn't even see his hand because I ain't paying no attention. Yeah. So yeah, this is the the games that they were talking that I've badass. always telling you guys about when it comes to playing the telepathic games. Eleven, eleven. Um. <laughs> so we're playing the uh, the telepathic games now. The telepathic games me and Becca play have to do with the number synchronicities. We've created our own code, you know, for our friends. Like I said, we shout out shapes. one four three. You know, that's one of our main codes. Uh, for uh, five one four is wounded warrior. You know, we've got a couple. Um, <laughs> where was I going with this? Oh. He was telling me him and his friends used to play games where, like, they would have the, you would have the four symbols, like an X, a triangle, a square, and a circle. Yeah. Like I think this is the beginning of the, do you remember the beginning of the Ghostbuster movie? The first one, the original, the best ones. Um, I'm not going to ask you. I know, I know. Somebody here? Anyway, that's what they were playing with. They were using those cards, you know, to, uh, what? I was going home. I'm confused. He had a car parked on the road. He was driving home. He didn't pull in the driveway. Did he throw it at our door? I think. It sounded like it. Just now, didn't it? Let's check. See what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, this is all the way live now. I'm not leaving the camera. I'm going to keep talking. You go figure out what the fuck just happened. He drove off, so it's not a big deal. Probably. He might have. Who knows? My life, my life, my life. Ay, 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 ay. Italians, what can you do about the family, man? I don't have to tell you. Son of a bitch. You know, channel Nona on his ass. Let her fucking beat him for a while. I want to get my granny powers out. Nobody likes it when I have to do that. They don't take shit from nobody. I ain't seen nothing. You didn't see nothing? No. I guess he threw some shit in the trash. You heard it too, though, right? Why was I hearing stuff again? I don't know. He might be late on his way to work or something. He was on there. He was in a rush. Yep, he's running late to work. That's all. <clears throat> He'll be all right. They need him. Um. So we were talking about the beginning of the Ghostbuster movie, and then you had a. Uh, we were talking about the card telepathy game, where somebody would sit on one side with the card, and they would be like, "What card do I have?" And you'd have to guess what card they had. Yeah, with the um triangle, square, X, and O. I got something. Guess what card I have? Oh. Means laziness, actually. I had to look that up, and those means laziness. This deck has trippy meanings. But yeah, I guess it is kind of lazy. Like he's walking to the end of a dock. But I'll tell you what. Do you know what this one is? Dad. 
That was an oh my, by the way. Huh? That was an oh my, by the way. What? That was a what? Huh? You said that was a what? You hear me say oh. Oh, no. You said something. I didn't hear what you said. said I'll catch it later when we watch the replay, I guess. My hair is so poofy lately. It's insanity. Poofy? It's so poofy. You don't say. It's curly. Like, my hair doesn't know what it wants to do. It just does whatever it does. Sometimes it's straight, and then it just... I don't do anything to it. All I've been doing is taking biotin and vitamin E, and this happened. Yes, sir. Man, what the hell are you crawling on? I feel like Rosanna Dana. Oh, who? Roseanne Rosanna Dana. I uh, only only my older friends are gonna get that one. That she's one of the original um, Saturday Night Live skits. Oh. Honestly, it's not even from my generation. Um, I just know it because uh, it's something my aunt yeah, said. Yeah. Her hair looked like once, and then she <laughs> then we then we binge watched a bunch of Rosanna Dana stuff. I don't know actually. Um, I think she died or something recently. They did a documentary about her. Mm hmm. Hell no. So what other tele? Did you play any other telepathic games besides that? Oh, the other one he said he like dude put his hand up against like stood behind him, where he couldn't see him, and he rocked his hand back and forth like this for a while oh, until he started rocking back and forth. I he know, but they couldn't see you. But there's a um, there's another one where um, we take a pen on and we hang it, and then we just try to go slow tonight. Not not make air blow it, just the hand going back and forth. And we also practiced. Uh, Gonna have to have Pinky I'm make like, a return. Can't tell all this on one video. I shouldn't. <laughs> huh? Yeah. We also practiced. Um, you take your two palms and face them together, like this. Then you slowly move them close and move them away. Move them close, move them away real slow, like this. But like easy, <laughs> real, real slow. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you what it, He's like, what it looks like. He's like fast, fast forward. <laughs> yeah, but you feel you feel a, um, a pressure in your palm, or you feel in the back of your hand, and I tell you where your balance is. <coughs> well, that's cool. And something for you to figure out though. But you can feel your energies. You 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 um, imagine Somebody's... a blue a blue beam going from this palm to this palm, back to this palm to this palm. To this. And it keeps going back and forth until you feel the pressure. You visualize it until you ma manifest it. And when you manifest it, then you realize the true nature of magic. Oh, I love you. Oh. But I think that's cool what he was saying right there was uh, in doing this practice, you, you feel whether energy is pushing your hands together more from the inside, like there's more effort when you have to pull back, or you can tell if you're putting more energy in, be, in between your hands that's coming from you, that's it's radiating pushing out. Again. It feels like a that magnet. That's pushing against you, right? Yeah. So when you do that, then you can figure out where your energy is, and then you can focus on strengthening the inner, and then you can build a shield out using that manifestation there. Exactly. And, I mean, you can do all kinds of things with it, and eventually you won't have to do the exercise no more. You'll just be feeling it all the time, every breath you take, every every move you make. <laughs> I so started singing it that I was whipping it to, <laughs> it to the next line of the song. Yep. Yep, yep, but, yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> I mean, people, man, our ancestors knew. Because they can see for miles I'm and miles. miles. <laughs> I've been having deja vu all day. We are seekers of knowledge. Oh, we were thinking I was. To, Rob's been thinking of doing a room reading cha uh, channel, and I was thinking his title should be King of Fire. What? Since I'm Queen of Fire, you could be King of Fire. Okay. And I like this too. I'm sitting out here talking with the fire. You're like just a fireball dancing off on the side. Shh, you're ruining <laughs> the illusion. Ah shit. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm thinking about doing some room reading. I'm, uh, I'm trying going, to figure out exactly going how. Back over because them, it's far, it's a far it's away. To, in order to do them like there's a reason there's no other rune readers right now like not many at all, and it's because it's really not 
the same as cards. It's I didn't to necessarily be a um, follow the tradition, but I do believe in the myths. And the, I mean the. Um, well, that's it. We're, we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take his I could, own version of I can't of pronounce it. them exactly the way they're supposed to be pronounced, but uh, but I do. Have, I, I meditate on each room for uh, a whole day, pretty much every time. Twenty-four rooms, twenty-four days, and um, I did them reverse, and so there would be something like forty something days. But um, forty-eight. Yeah. But I, I, I just, uh, I stopped counting. I got so in tune with them. I didn't need to look at any reading, no, no cheat sheets, no nothing. I know what to feel, and I was able to do some room readings for friends and my mom, and they kind of tripped out. <laughs> and um, I just stopped. I started doing them for myself, and well, those are the hardest, to be honest, like doing readings for yourself. But, um, <laughs> how many fire signs? This is this is the Aries card. How many you said seven fire signs? That's a lot. No, there's only three you said I had signs. You said yeah. I had seven. You have seven fire placements, yeah, in your chart. Oh, yeah, you got a shit ton of Sagittarius, too. You're a pain in the ass on all kinds of levels. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Where's my reward? I don't, I don't see a reward. I mean, I though. Um, Damn it. Where he's got fire signs, I've got Scorpio. I've got, I got three Scorpio placements. So. And my son's a Scorpio. So. Scorpios are going through <laughs> it right now. They are going through it. It is. Um, I think you'll be able to, you know, get along with my son well. I got along with Kai just fine. Little I mean, kids love me. I am amazing with little kids. Yes, but I am are. the most entertaining adult in the room. I don't know why. I don't know. Little, little kids treat me like I'm a unicorn. I love it. I feel urus. Urus? Urus. Urus. Oh, you're trying to pronounce a rune right now? Yeah. That's pretty much it, though. What's it mean? Stubbornness. Stubbornness. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a big theme right now, too. What Everybody's stubborn. They won't tell you that, but I say that. Urus is a, um... Yeah. Is it the bull sign? Kind of. Of course it is. But, um, uh, I can't remember everything about it. But I remember, yeah, it's a bull sign. It's stubbornness and, um... It can be your friend or it can be your foe. It can be the one. So you gotta watch yourself. <laughs> Keep an eye and on there's you. no coaching going on here, guys. Keep an eye on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so just, I'm sorry. You all serious now? You was a goofball before, and now you're all serious. You like, wanted me to be serious. I to be serious. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Yes, yeah, the what are you doing? Now I'm out of now I'm out of conversation topics. You got me well, all messed I, up on the stubbornness thing. I was thinking Zeus, but I can't remember the fucking definition or how it felt. So I'm over here trying to in touch with myself and. Pull this shit out my cosset record. <laughs> Queen of Earth. I actually find it funny that the runes are actually more feminine. They're mostly feminine. I guess look it up, and Zeus. I can't look it up, baby. My Not phone you. is recording stuff right now. I don't know my phone is. I was talking about the people on there. Oh, oh yeah. Y'all look you it up. You go look it up if you're interested in what it is. <laughs> 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 We're all about seeking your own knowledge here. <laughs> exactly. But you ain't had to say it like that. Damn. I was trying to take it easy on him. You had to go on hardcore and shit. Oh, I told you this? I'm a terrible teacher. <laughs> like everybody's like, you should teach stuff. I'm like, this is no, no, I'm not a good teacher. I'm curious as hell what it is now. 
It's go get your runes. No. No. Not I gonna got... leave me again. Huh? Not gonna leave me again. No. <laughs> You're like, I'm tired of walking, lady. Shit. I to walk all day. They probably can't even fucking hear me anyway. I'm sure they can. You're closer to the microphone than I am. Oh. That's why I do it, y'all. They start <laughs> howls out here in the yard. They're a trip. They are a trip. Well, I guess that's it. That's all I got to ramble on about tonight. Unless you got something else you want to talk about. I was talking about the coolest thing you manifest, and then what else we went through? Went to telepathic games. Huh? Coolest thing I manifest? I can't, I can't really say. I guess the lightning that time, but I did, I did, I did a spell one time that, um, got me my GED. I just randomly chose shit. After I got past the shit I didn't know, I just randomly chose shit and scored big. I don't know how I did that. I can't do it yet in the gambling car. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least it works when it's important. <laughs> that That's the problem with dragons. But dragons only help you if you're putting your energy towards something important. But, um... I, I, I don't know. I think my strongest spell was, uh, like... I'd walk out on the yard and just, like, scream bloody murder. And you wonder why nobody messed with you. They were like, don't mess with Ferris. <laughs> he just stands in the yard screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> nah, but yeah, nah. Yeah. They didn't fuck with me because they knew. Anyway, um. We don't need to get into all that. Yeah, nah. We got here. But, um. Sometimes it's just good to let it fucking out, bro. I just let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Release it. Let it go. Let it go. It's so hard, the shit let you hold go. on to. I'm not just talking about Cold those frustrations of the day. I'm talking about frustrations right. of the year. Don't get frustrated. I ain't. You're getting out of the table. I let my shit go. That's what y'all should do, too. Let it go. Well, I don't know. I guess I don't. Like I, don't, I, don't I don't do that. <laughs> what? I don't ask for anything. <laughs> I don't you mean to. You don't have to. to. Just grind yourself. I don't yourself. mean to. Like I manifested. Um. I'm lightning crazy. I can do that. That's always something like playing in lightning storms. That's why I do it. Because if I can get myself zoned out enough. That I can get my, uh, I can get the lightning popping off in the I rhythm. believe that we both unconsciously manifested each other. That's a cool idea. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Co-creations. Mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's projecting the most of all? Aye. Aye, aye, aye. What are we going to do? What are we going to do about all this nonsense? Make a mess of it. That's what we always do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. I think that's enough. What well, we have about thirty <sighs> minutes, unless you got something else to say. I mean, I, I was gonna see how long the recording would go if you're up for it, Boo. I'm down. <coughs> I know you're recording. Oh shit! We've been up to thirty minutes already. Ooh. All right, so I'm 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 talking about doing some rune readings or some rune teachings or such. So um, I was thinking King of Fire because he's got the seven fire placements, and it would just tie along with me and be cute. Um, and but, I meditate on each room for a whole day, and then some 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 rooms, and uh, I just got to get back uh, to remember my rooms because I used to have a lot of people come to me and ask me stuff and. I don't, I don't disclose my. Well, I like the idea the that you said, you and um, I like the idea that you were saying that you would like to start out by just doing just one video per rune, <coughs> and then like I know I saw it meditate for a day and then do one video per rune. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I think that would be cool. We don't have to broadcast those right away. Room, yeah, but we can I mean, save videos, that and, you know, make a playlist. A but like I said, we're working on it, y'all. It just said that my storage is starting to get full, actually. I should have an hour worth of storage space, but apparently I don't. So, blessed be all those who walk these weird and windy blessed paths with be. me. We love you guys very much. Blessed be one, four, oh! One, three, four. See, dyslexic like a motherfucker. One, one four, four, three. Four, three. We love you. Peace. Four, four.